Ik eerst naar Aladdin van de University of Florida. Een great analytic number theory is termed a commentor number theory. Talk about something very classical uh, concerning uh, Euler Q series and Euler's pentagonal theorem. Uh, we're going to take Professor Aladdin out for dinner at not the usual place, but since Professor Aladdin is uh, originally from India, to the Indian restaurant uh, called Spices Inn on George Street uh, 371. 371 George Street at 6.45 p.m. tonight. If you like, everybody who's in this talk, uh, we're going to stay to the end of the talk. You're welcome to <laughs> come for dinner, but please let me know immediately after the talk. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Zahn. Thank you for inviting me to Rutgers. Um, I've been here before, uh, once for a DIMAX uh, conference on unusual applications of number theory, which uh, Professors Nathanson and Chudnovsky organized here. And of course, I have also had contact with many members of this department, Professor Lepowski being one of them. Um, just last month, I had the pleasure of being in Nankai, China, for a conference in honor of Professor Zeilberger's uh, 60th birthday. It was a magnificent conference in a magnificent location. And we got to talk about many things, and I mentioned to him casually that I was going to uh, attend the 80th anniversary celebrations of the Institute for Advanced Study. That's tomorrow and the day after. So he said, well, if you're coming to Princeton, then you should definitely come to Rutgers and give a seminar. So that's how this visit materialized. So I'm very happy about the, the spontaneity with which he invited me and the opportunity to come and speak here. Um, he mentioned I'm an analytic number theorist turned partition theorist or combinatorialist. Yes, I started life <coughs> uh, working in elementary number theory and arithmetical functions. And Paul Erdish was uh, my guru and I owe my career to Professor Erdish. So I worked in analytic number theory uh, for quite a while. And then it was during the Ramanujan Centennial when I had the opportunity to listen to uh, George Andrews and Bruce Bunt and Richard Askey and so on and so other people, other mathematicians in Madras uh, that I said, well, maybe I should start at least looking into these uh, topics. I was always afraid of exploring them because these giants, Zeilberger included, have sort of plundered these, this cave and taken all the gems. But what I'm going to show you today is one or two gems that uh, some of these great people had missed at the entrance to the cave, so <laughs> an encouragement to the graduate students. So the talk is going to be quite simple, but um, there are going to be some interesting ideas, so I hope you'll find uh, some novelty in the presentation. Um, I actually gave a talk in Nankai uh, where I covered more material, but that was at a conference. So that, that talk was entirely variations on themes of Euler and Gauss in the theory of partitions, and I looked at the Euler pentagonal numbers theorem and the Gauss triangular numbers theorem as sort of the prototype in this thing, and then looked at different variations of both of these coming from a variety of two hypergeometric identities. But today I will focus on the Euler pentagonal numbers theorem, and I will also focus on the combinatorics uh, that yields some new, new uh, companions. Okay, so Euler's pentagonal numbers theorem. One of the most fundamental in the theory of partitions and Q's hypergeometric series. So here is the result. The product, m from 1 to infinity, 1 minus q to the power of m, is summation minus 1 to the k, q to the 3k squared minus k over 2. And these numbers, 3k squared minus k over 2, are called the pentagonal numbers. And they actually can be interpreted in terms of a pentagon when k is greater than or equal to 0. OK. Um, first of all, this is a very pretty result, but this is also a tremendously useful result because the product that you see here is the reciprocal of the partition generating function. So this is the actual generating function for the partition function, which has got this product representation. And so what we have here is a reciprocal, and therefore from the pentagonal numbers expansion, if I multiply by the generating function of the partition function, I get 1. And if I compare the coefficient of q to the power of n on both sides, uh, and note that the coefficient of q to the power of n on the right-hand side is 0, when n is greater than or equal to 
1, this yields a recurrence formula for P of n. And in fact, uh, it was this recurrence that Hardy asked Major McMahon to use to compute a table of values of the partition function. Uh, the motivation at that time was to use that table to check the famous hardy ramanujan asymptotic formula for P of n. But interestingly, this table of values of P of n that McMahon formed also served as the basis for Ramanujan's spectacular discovery of the partition congress. So, so there is a very illustrious history behind this identity, but this identity is so fundamental not only because it is beautiful, but because it also <coughs> has this use. Okay. Now, it is often said that even though Euler, um, Euler's results on partitions are all combinatorial, he seldom emphasized the combinatorial aspects of his results. So we're going to emphasize combinatorial aspects of Q-theoretic, Q-series 